Hello everyone and welcome to .NET Code Central. In today's video, I am going to talk about C Sharp Prepl. Now before we start talking about C Sharp Prepl, let's talk about the use cases. Now there are a lot of times where you would want to experiment with something quickly. But to do that, today you will have to create a console application. So you will have to open up Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code, create a new project and then start writing things out and it might be like as simple as doing a string operation like finding out the index of a particular thing or finding out part of a string or let's say figuring out what is the current time in UTC format and things like that and that's a little bit time consuming as well as every time you have to experiment you end up creating a new project. There's a lot of programming languages out there like Python, Node, and others who already support REPL. The full form of REPL or REPL is read, eval, print loop. Essentially, you write something, it evaluates, and it prints it out. And it is extremely helpful, especially when you want to just write a simple code and try it out. Now for that, there is an open source package called C Sharp REPL. C Sharp REPL is a cross-platform command line REPL for experimentation, as I mentioned. And uh, apart from just that, it supports few other really advanced features, which I thought was really cool. First thing is it does support syntax highlighting in the command line, which is pretty cool. It provides an intelligent support with a flyout documentation and when I start working with it, you can see it. The other thing which is extremely important and powerful is it also support NuGet package installation in the REPL and then use some of the feature of the package. I think that is really cool. The next thing also it supports is referencing some of the local assemblies or solutions or project. So these are few of the very important feature that it supports. So let's start playing with it. For installing, it's very simple and straightforward. We can install it using .NET command. So we can use .NET tool install and then we can use G for global. C sharp REPL and this is going to install the REPL for us. Now this is successfully installed and we can use the C sharp REPL to test it out. So how do we do that? It's very simple. Let's start with C sharp REPL and now this is opening up and as you can see it has opened up the REPL. So it says C sharp REPL readable print loop and then now we can try something out. So let's try with the most simple and fast thing we do when we do any programming language which is printing out hello world. And as you can see, as we do that, there is the flyout option of intelligence which I was mentioning. So we can do console and if we do an enter, it's going to select that dot right line. And here we can say, hello world. And then to execute these, we don't want to provide a semicolon after that. We just want to enter and then it will execute. We, if we provide a semicolon, it is going to consider that we are still writing the code. So for example, if we say var x equal to hello there and then we say console dot right line x enter you see it prints out hello there so semicolon it takes it as a continuation and it continues keeping the code in buffer and then finally where we do an enter without semicolon it executes the whole buffer so let's try a couple of other things let's do a simple calculation so we can say var x equal to 100 var y equal to 100 and then we can say x plus y just enter 
and it gives the response. Now let's say we want to test something. We want to try out something a little bit more interesting. So let's say we want to play with some advanced data structure like list. So let's create a list. So you can say var items equal to new. As you can see, as and when we do, the intelligence is appearing and we can use step to complete the intelligence. And then we can say for var i equal to zero, i less than 10, i plus plus. And here we can say items dot add i and then finally we can say for each var item in items and here we can do console dot write line item and now if we enter it will now execute the entire thing and then print out all the number now here as you might have noticed after this for loop it did not actually execute the code because there is nothing which is using an output command. So it waited for this and once this is executed, it just printed out, executed the whole code and printed this out. Next, let's try to use a NuGet package because that's one thing which we'll probably be using often compared to anything else. So how do we install NuGet package? So for that, the command is hash r and then we can say nuget and hasher is not just for nuget package the hasher command is for adding nuget as well as if we want to add an assembly or a cs project so we can do for nuget we can do nuget colon and let's add newton soft because that's the simplest one to test so dot json and as you can see, it installed the newtonsoft.json. And now we can create class and use the newtonsoft. So we can do using, for some reason, my Okay, let's try now. some reason my console is a little bit behaving weird but let's let's go with it newtonsoft.json so you can do that and then after that I can use like a class test class public string name get set this is the class and then we can say var test object equal to new test class and here we can say name is equal to dot net core say so we created an object and then finally here what we can do is we can do console dot write line and here we can say JSON convert dot serialize object and here we can pass the test object and now if we do an enter it is going to serialize and print out the object that we created as you can see it is very simple and straightforward to add a NuGet package to the project now the next thing that we can also test out is adding an assembly and for that i'm going to add one of the existing assembly so i have this dotnet project which is test library which is a class library which is a very simple class printer printer is a single method print it takes a message and it does it just prints it out into console so let me just build this project and it builds successfully and everything looks good. Now, next thing what we can do is we can add this project to the REPL. And for that, I'm going to use the same command. I'm going to use hash r and then 
me just clear this and start from fresh. So hash r and then here I am going to give the path to the project. So the path of the project you can just copy the path from here and then go here and paste it. This is the project path. So this is the path I can add. So you can see it built this DLL and added the reference to the DLL here. So now, now what we can do is we can say using and we can say test library. So we added the using statement and then we can say var equal to new printer create the object and then we can say printer dot print and in the message we can say hello there and just enter and then it's going to execute the printer dot print and you can see the hello there message is printed out here so as you can see this REPL is extremely powerful this is something you can use whenever you want to experiment with something without worrying about opening up Visual Studio, creating a project, creating class, writing the code, doing an F5, that's a lot of work. Whereas here, it's extremely simple. Just write the code, enter, and you get the answer immediately. So apart from that, there are a few other options also which the REPL supports, but these are the options I think which are most helpful and very practically useful in day-to-day -day world. I'm going to provide the GitHub URL for the C Sharp REPL GitHub project so you can take a look and see some of the other features the REPL has. But in my opinion, these are the most important and day-to-day -day useful feature REPL has which are going to be extremely helpful. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you think you are getting value out of my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.